friends. Today we're going to read a Who Would Win story. And this one's called The Ultimate Bug Rumble. I don't know what all of this is about, but this will be my first time reading one too. So let's see. I'm going to share my screen. Who Would Win? No one knows why it happened, but 16 bugs and insects just showed up for a bracketed contest. The rules are simple. If you lose, you're out of the tournament. Who will win? So it's Black Widow Spider versus Dragonfly. It says, leg fact, insects have six legs, spiders have eight. Fact, Black Widow Spiders are venomous, but only the female's bite can be dangerous to humans. Venom is a kind of poison. And it says, fun fact, dragonflies have four wings. They can fly forward and backwards, and they can hover. Did you know there are thousands of different species of dragonflies? Bonus fact, a dragon has six legs, but it can't walk. And it says, the dragonfly is soaring around. It flies closer to the web of the black widow spider. Black widow spider wins. The tip of the dragonfly's wing gets caught up in the web of the spider. The Black Widow has bad eyesight, but it feels the vibrations of the trapped dragonfly. As the dragonfly tries to free itself, the Black Widow attacks. The spider, vi spider bites the dragonfly and injects it with deadly venom. The dragonfly will be dinner. Says, fun fact, spiders are not insects. Spiders are arachnids. Identifact, dragonflies are easy to recognize. They have long bodies and see-through wings. So I guess the Black Widow Spider won that one. Centipede versus Assassin Bug. A centipede has no wings and cannot fly, but it is good at walking. The centipede sees an assassin bug. This could be trouble. The centipede is scary looking. Will the assassin bug just run away? Nope. The assassin bug faces the oncoming centipede. So let's find out some facts about those bugs. It says, did you know the name centipede means 100 feet? A centipede doesn't really have 100 feet. It has between 30 and 300. Fact. Assassin bugs stab other insects with their long mouth parts and suck out their insides. Ew. Kissing fact. Assassin bugs are also called kissing bugs. They sometimes bite humans on the face near the lips. I don't think I'd want that to bite me. It says centipede wins. At first, the assassin bug is aggressive, but the flexible centipede moves its body quickly and uses its multiple legs to pin the assassin bug. One, two, three. The centipede bites a chunk out of the assassin bug. The centipede will go on to fight the black widow spider. It says, definition, an assassin is someone who kills for money or fame. Fact, the centipede has a pair of legs for each segment of its body. All right, next one is butterfly versus killer bee. A butterfly, what are you doing in this competition? You should be in a beauty contest, not a fight. This unusual matchup has a colorful flyer versus a dangerous stinging insect. It says, fact, butterflies have scales on their wings. They look like small shingles. Fun fact, butterflies have no teeth, no claws, and no stingers. No, him up against a, a killer bee doesn't sound like very good. It says, fighting fact, killer bees are aggressive honeybees. Hybrid fact, killer bees are a crossbreed of the African honeybee and the European honeybee. It says, killer bee wins. We kind of figured. The butterfly flies around trying to confuse the killer bee. The killer bee heads straight for the butterfly and stings it in the head. The butterfly stops flying and crashes. It dies. Bees can sting a human only once. They can sting soft insects multiple times. The killer bee moves on to the second round. It says, fact, a butterfly's best defense is to fly away. Stinging fact, a swarm of killer bees could kill almost any animal. People must avoid killer bees. It says, definition, a swarm is a dense group of flying insects. Next one is praying mantis versus cockroach. The spiky front legs of a praying mantis are designed to catch prey. This insect normally eats whatever it can catch. The praying mantis turns its head and sees a cockroach. Watch out, praying mantis. The cockroach is a tough pest. It can live for weeks without food. 
Some can run up to three miles an hour. That's fast for an insect. Says behavior fact, a praying mantis is an ambush predator. It lies in wait to catch its prey. Fact, cockroach antenna look like loose strings. Wing fact, cockroach wings overlap. Beetle wings fold neatly in a straight line. Who do you think is going to win this one? Do you think it's going to be the praying mantis or the cockroach? Hmm. I don't know. I think it's going to be the cockroach. Oh, praying mantis wins. This is not a quick fight. The praying mantis goes after the cockroach. The cockroach runs away. The praying mantis pursues and corners it. The cockroach tries to fly, but the praying mantis hooks it with its front legs and damages it. Crunch, crunch, bite. The praying mantis wins. Says fact, cockroaches are found from the Arctic to the tropics and in every type of environment. Says, did you know some people keep praying mantises as pets? I don't think that's a pet I would want. The next contest pairs a hornet with a tiger beetle. The hornet is hungry. It sees the tiger beetle. The tiger beetle prefers to walk, but it has wings and can fly. These two insects are on a collision course. Says, did you know a word used to describe, used by some people to describe a hornet is nasty. Fact, hornets have stingers. They can sting multiple times. Says, fun fact, there are hundreds of thousands of different species of beetles. They are one of the most successful life forms on earth. And it says, fact, beetles are biters. So one bites and one stings. Who do you think is going to win this one? Mm, I think it's the hornet. Yep, the hornet wins. The aggressive hornet flies right at the tiger beetle. The tiger beetle fights back. After one sting, the tiger beetle thinks it's best to fly away. Now both insects are airborne, flying in circles, trying to attack each other. The hornet can maneuver better in the air. It stings the tiger beetle several times. It gets hard if, harder for the wounded beetle to fly. The hornet wins and flies on to the second round. Rumble update. Five matches down. Three to go. And it says, fact, a hornet is in the wasp family of insects. It says, vision fact, a tiger beetle cannot see while running. Well, that's not helpful, is it? All right, the next one is daddy long legs versus scorpion. It says, a daddy long legs enters the competition. It's tall and skinny. It may be wondering if entering this contest was a good idea. A scorpion is loaded with weapons, pinchers, a biting mouth, and a stinging tail. It says body type fact. Look, it only has one body part. The head, thorax, and abdomen are all one. So the daddy long legs just has one part. It says, uh, uh, did you know a false scorpion looks identical to a scorpion, but it has no stinger? Hmm, I didn't know that. Fun fact, the daddy long legs has eight legs, but it is not a spider. It's in an order called harvestman. Scorpion wins. The daddy long legs ignores the scorpion and walks right over it. The daddy long legs is so light, the scorpion hardly feels it. The battle begins. The scorpion has too much firepower. Sting, pinch, sting, pinch. The stinging scorpion wins. Aren't we humans lucky a scorpion isn't as big as a pickup truck? <laughs> yes, I think we're very lucky all those bugs are not as big as a pickup truck. Fact, a fossilized daddy long legs proved to be about 400 million years old. As a species, it knows how to survive. Did you know the daddy long, leg has, long legs has only one pair of eyes? Some bugs have more than that, don't they? Oh, here's a couple of interesting ones. Stink bug versus woolly bear. If you touch or squeeze a stink bug, it stinks. However, some people don't mind how these bugs smell. It says, should a gentle caterpillar be in this book? Oh, well, the fight is on. It says, yummy fact. Some people eat stink bugs. They say the stink bugs taste like apples. Yum. Ugh, I don't think I'd want to eat a stink bug. Fact. A caterpillar is the larva of a butterfly or a moth. This woolly bear is a tiger moth. Says definition. The larva stage is the immature stage of an in insect's life. Says fact. Some woolly bears are blonde. That means they have a nice light yellow color. This one doesn't though, does it? He's black and orange. So who do you think is going to win this one, the stink bug or the woolly bear? Yeah, I think probably the stink bug. No, woolly bear wins. The woolly bear coughs up some slime, which smells awful. Even the stink bug doesn't like it. The two bugs meet. The woolly bear refuses to fight and rolls itself into a ball. 
Suddenly, a bird swoops in and eats the stink bug. The woolly bear caterpillar wins by accident, which sometimes happens in the animal kingdom. The crowd is chanting, fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzzy. It sounds like the fuzzy woolly bear may be a fan favorite. And it says, fact, stink bugs are in a class of insects known as true bugs. Okay, the next one is the cicada versus the tarantula. One last pair of the first round is a noisy cicada versus a big hairy spider. Welcome the tarantula, our 16th contestant. The tarantula gets annoyed listening to the cicada, the loudest insect in the world. It says shedding fact, both of these creatures shed their skin, which is called molting. Strange fact, some cicadas come out of the ground only once after 17 years, then die five to six weeks later. Fact, the tarantula has eight legs. The two long appendages next to its mouth are called palps. Old age fact, some tarantulas live up to 30 years. Cicadas live for less than six weeks. So who do you think is going to win this one? Hmm, I think it's going to be the tarantula. Tarantula wins. This is a mismatch. Wham! The heavy tarantula jumps on the cicada and sinks its fangs in. The cicada stops singing. It says fact, a cicada makes noise by vibrating its bumpy echoskeleton. Definition. Bugs do not have bones. They have an exoskeleton, which is an exterior shell. On to the second round. All right, so now we're going to put some of those bugs together that we saw in the first round. It says, welcome to round two. We have the black widow spider fighting the centipede. Insects have six legs, so neither of these bugs is an insect. Scientific fact. The creatures in this book are called invertebrates. None has a backbone. Fact, there is an old video game called Centipede. That's true. Slang fact, it's okay to call all the creatures in this book bugs. Bugs is an acceptable slang term for spiders, insects, and other invertebrates. Says the centipede may be the most surprising of all the contestants. No one expected it to get this far. All right, so black widow spider versus centipede. Centipede wins. The centipede is overpowering. The black widow spider tries to bite, but its tender body can't handle the weight and shiftiness of all those centipede legs. It says, danger, if you get bitten by a black widow, go to the hospital right away. We don't have any black widow spiders where I live. Do we have any where you live? Number fact, a group of bugs similar to centipedes are called millipedes. Millipedes means 1,000 feet. The black widow is on top, then the centipede's on top. The fight goes back and forth. Bite. The centipede wins. Sorry, Black Widow, you lost. Now we have Killer Bee versus Praying Mantis. The Killer Bee returns for round two. It has a nasty look. Other bugs should beware. It will fight the Praying Mantis. The fans can't wait. Says fact. Killer bees in Asia have figured out how to kill a giant hornet. Says fact. A Praying Mantis can turn its triangle-shaped head backwards. Says the praying mantis has quick reflexes. The killer bee is a better flyer. Usually only male praying mantises can fly. Praying mantis wins. The killer bee tries to sting the praying mantis, but the praying mantis is too quick. Its strong arms grab the killer bee out of the air. The bee tries a spin and sting move. Says kneeling fact. The praying mantis got its name because its front legs makes it look like it's kneeling in worship. Says the praying mantis bites first, which ends the fight quickly. The praying mantis moves on to the next round. The killer bee did not live up to its name. <laughs> Wasn't strong enough for that praying mantis. There we go. This match is a bad attitude versus more bad attitude. Flying stinger versus stinger and pincers. Six legs versus eight legs. So it's hornet versus scorpion. It says, did you know the biggest hornet in the world is the Asian giant hornet? It says, fact, one of the deadliest scorpions is known as a death stalker. It says, the, this matchup is everything an ultimate bug rumble fan could want. Ooh, hornet wins. The hornet avoids the scorpion's strength by attacking from above. Seeing an opening, the hornet stings the scorpion and flies away. Ouch. It sees another opportunity and stings again. Ouch. A couple more stings and the scorpion is badly hurt. It loses strength. 
The scorpions, the hornet strategy works. Scorpions can't fly, so air power wins. Says poison fact, both hornets and scorpions have venom in their stingers. Sharp fact, hornets and scorpions can sting multiple times. All right, woolly bear versus tarantula. Ooh. Fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzzy. This fan favorite is back for round two. It's fuzzy versus hairy. It looks like the tarantula will have an easy opponent. It says, did you know the woolly bear has 13 body segments? Fact, caterpillars have only six legs, although it looks like they have more. They are insects. Fact, there are almost 1,000 different species of tarantulas. Maybe some live in your neighborhood. No. They don't. <laughs> and we wouldn't want them to. Tarantula wins. The woolly bear rolls itself into a ball. The tarantula is not fooled. The tarantula pounces on the woolly bear. The tarantula sinks its fangs in. Fuzzy lost. Round two is over. Centipede, praying mantis, hornet, and tarantula are heading to the semifinal round, which we'll call the bug four. It says, nickname, the woolly bear is also called the black ended bear or the woolly worm. So tarantula got him that time. So it says, the second round is over. Welcome to the third round, or bug four. It has been an exciting single elimination fight. Get ready for the multi-leg centipede to fight the bug-eating praying mantis. It says, fact, the largest centipede in the world is the Amazonian giant centipede. It says, 50-50 fact. Half of the bug four are insects. Says the fans will all be watching all of those legs. The praying mantis has six, and it looks like the centipede has a million. <laughs> Not quite, but it has a lot. Ocean fact. A mantis shrimp has the same snatching arms as a praying mantis. Praying mantis wins. The centipede crawls over the praying mantis. It tries to bite, but the praying mantis flies away. Every time the centipede gets close, the praying mantis seems to escape. The praying mantis bites one leg off the centipede. Then another. After removing a few more legs, the praying mantis delivers a fatal bite. Praying mantis, you are going to the finals. And it says expensive fa fact. Aren't you glad you don't have to buy shoes for the centipede? <laughs> Next one is hornet versus tarantula. It's the hornet versus the tarantula. This fight may not be fair. The hornet has already defeated the tiger beetle and the scorpion. The tarantula has big fangs, but it has no wings. The tarantula has defeated the cicada and the woolly bear. Who will get to the finals? It says finals fact. There can only be one ultimate bug rumble champion. Hornet wins. The hornet wastes no time. It buzzes towards the tarantula's face. The tarantula gets up on its hind legs and tries boxing. It misses. The hornet flies in circles and does a loop-the-loop. -loop. The hornet then stings the tarantula. The hornet keeps stinging it. It stings so many times the tarantula stops walking and collapses. The hornet flies on to the final match. Championship match. It's the final round of the tournament. Praying mantis versus hornet. The praying mantis flies, then tries to snatch and bite off the hornet's head. The hornet buzzes away. The fight goes airborne. The heavily armed hornet is too quick. It stings the praying mantis multiple times. These two insects fight back and forth. The mantis is usually a great fighter, but the smaller, faster hornet is more aggressive. And it says championship fact. This championship started with 16 bugs. It says hornet wins. Just as the praying mantis thinks it has the hornet in its grasp, the hornet outmaneuvers the praying mantis. With a sting, 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 the praying mantis falls over. Too much firepower. The hornet wins. This is one way the competition might have ended. Write your own ending or think of a new version of an Ultimate Rumble book. Mm-hmm. So it might not always be the way it would end with the bugs, but that's one way it could end. Very interesting. I learned a lot about bugs, didn't you? Yeah. Some of them are a little scary, aren't they? Hmm. But we don't see a lot of those bugs around, do we? And we are much, much bigger than a bug. All right, friends. Have a good day. I hope you learned some interesting bug facts. Bye-bye.